Before we jump into the declaration, understanding what a significant molecule gas pedal is critical. The Large Hadron Collider, LHC, operated by CERN, is a 17-mile ring of superconducting magnets and the world's largest and most powerful atom smasher. It represents the apex of human scientific achievement. In fact, it's so powerful that it can reproduce the very states of the universe at its birth. But could this machine, designed to unlock the mysteries of the universe, hold the key to something far more ominous? CERN, established in 1954, is one of the world's most renowned research organizations, with 23 member states and thousands of scientists. It is a center for cooperation and innovation. The LHC is CERN's flagship project, but it is only one part of a massive network of accelerators and experiments. Imagine a racetrack, not for cars or horses, but for subatomic particles in a race against space and time itself. The LHC accelerates protons to nearly the speed of light, sending them on a collision course that mimics the energy present at the moment of the Big Bang. The impacts create temperatures millions of times hotter than the core of the sun. Thousands of magnets guide the protons on their journey, while complex cooling systems keep the magnets at temperatures colder than outer space. The beams inside the LHC are made to collide at four points around the accelerator ring, corresponding to the positions of four particle detectors, ATLAS, CMS, ALICE, and LHCB. Each serves a specific purpose, investigating unique aspects of particle physics. Together, they act as giant cameras, capturing snapshots of these collisions. Researchers then sift through the debris searching for evidence of elusive particles like the Higgs boson, also known as the God particle, and other phenomena that reveal the fundamental building blocks of the universe. By studying the microcosm, we gain insights into the cosmos. But with every answer comes another question, and with each discovery, another challenge. The LHC is not just a scientific instrument. It is a testament to human curiosity and innovation. It embodies our relentless quest for knowledge and our desire to grasp the forces that shape the universe. However, as we push the boundaries of understanding, we must also consider the moral and existential questions that arise. What are the dangers of probing the unknown? Could our pursuit of understanding inadvertently unleash forces beyond our control? In the hallowed halls of CERN where the limits of human comprehension are constantly tested, a discovery has emerged that chills even the most seasoned researchers. Brian Cox, a former scientist at CERN and a prominent voice in particle physics recently, made a declaration that has left the world both fascinated and uneasy. His words resonate with chilling clarity. The objective of CERN's Large Hadron Collider is to reproduce a small-scale Big Bang. Yes, you heard that correctly, a miniature version of the very event that gave birth to our universe. Cox explained the implications of this goal, highlighting the LHC's extraordinary potential for groundbreaking discoveries, including unlocking the secrets of the Higgs boson and exploring dark matter, a mysterious substance that constitutes a significant portion of the universe. Imagine wielding the power of creation, the ability to invoke the very essence of the universe. It's an enticing yet perilous possibility. The mini Big Bang is no mere theoretical concept. It is a tangible reality within the LHC. The temperatures, pressures, and raw energy it generates replicate the conditions of the universe's inception. It's akin to standing at the dawn of time, witnessing the birth of existence. But with such power comes immense responsibility, and the question looms. What if something goes wrong? This concern is not without precedent. In 1978, Russian physicist Anatoly Bugorsky suffered a catastrophic accident while working on the U-70 synchrotron at the Institute for High Energy Physics in Protvino, Russia. A glitch caused his head to intersect with a proton beam. The beam, with an incomprehensible force, entered the back of his head, and exited through his nose. Vygorsky described seeing a flash brighter than a thousand suns, but felt no pain. The beam's path caused severe tissue damage, leading to hearing loss in one ear and partial facial paralysis. Remarkably, his intellectual abilities remained intact, and he continued his scientific career. 
This incident is a stark reminder of the immense power and potential danger of particle accelerators. The risks of an atom smasher like the LHC are not to be underestimated. Among the most alarming concerns is the possibility of creating a miniature black hole. Black holes, regions of space-time where gravity is so strong that not even light can escape, are enigmatic and powerful entities. The idea that the LHC could generate even a minuscule black hole has sparked widespread debate. Could such a black hole grow uncontrollably, consuming the Earth from within? Researchers at CERN assure the public that any black hole created would be unstable and vanish almost instantly. Yet, the mere possibility has fueled both fascination and fear. The creation of black holes at the LHC relates to the mechanics of particle collisions. When protons collide at near-light speeds, the energy produced is so immense that it can distort space-time itself. In quantum physics, theories suggest that additional dimensions might exist hidden from our perception. If these dimensions are real, the LHC's experiments could tap into them, potentially creating a gravitational well, a tiny black hole. This possibility even caught the attention of renowned physicist Stephen Hawking. In his writings, Hawking warned of a scenario in which the Higgs boson becomes unstable at extremely high energy levels, potentially triggering a catastrophic vacuum decay. Such an event could obliterate not just Earth, but the entire universe. Similarly, Sir Martin Rees, a prominent astrophysicist, expressed concerns in his book on the future, Prospects for Humanity. He explored the risks of particle accelerator experiments, including those at CERN emphasizing that even a small probability of disaster warrants careful consideration. Despite these concerns, the scientists at CERN maintain that rigorous safety protocols are in place. Brian Cox himself reassured the public emphasizing that the energies involved in the LHC's experiments are well within what the Earth naturally experiences. Any black holes created would be minuscule and unstable dissipating almost instantly via Hawking radiation. The potential for disaster, while a captivating topic for science fiction, remains astronomically low. Nevertheless, the allure of the unknown and the enigmatic nature of quantum physics continue to captivate the imagination. Some speculate that the LHC could even open a gateway to another universe or dimension. While mainstream scientists largely dismiss this idea, it has inspired both wonder and unease. The Large Hadron Collider represents the cutting edge of scientific exploration, pushing the boundaries of what we know about the universe. Its experiments have led to groundbreaking discoveries, including the Higgs boson, and advanced our understanding of the fundamental forces of nature. While the risks involved in such endeavors are real, they are meticulously calculated and managed. The Large Hadron Collider symbolizes both the triumph and the peril of human ambition. Its achievements in particle physics have reshaped our understanding of the universe, offering answers to questions that have perplexed humanity for centuries. Yet as we stand on the precipice of discovery, we must also grapple with the ethical and existential dilemmas it presents. What if the answers we seek challenge the foundations of reality as we know it? The pursuit of fundamental truths often comes with unintended consequences. History is replete with examples of scientific breakthroughs that, while advancing humanity, also introduced unforeseen dangers. The power to split the atom, for instance, led not only to the development of nuclear energy, but also to the creation of devastating weapons. Similarly, the LHC opens doors to realms of physics that may have risks beyond our current understanding. One of the most pressing concerns is the unpredictability of experimental outcomes. The LHC operates at energy levels unprecedented on Earth, venturing into conditions that haven't existed since the dawn of time. While scientists have extensively modeled and simulated these scenarios, the unknown remains a constant companion in this journey. Could there be phenomena that defy our theories and expectations? Could the experiments inadvertently set off a chain of events beyond our control? For some, these fears are amplified by the philosophical implications of the LHC's work. If we discover extra dimensions or create conditions that allow us to glimpse other universes, what does that mean for our understanding of existence? 
Does it diminish humanity's place in the cosmos? Or does it elevate our importance as explorers of the unknown? Such discoveries challenge not only the laws of physics, but also the very frameworks of meaning and belief that underpin human civilization. This duality of awe and apprehension underscores the role of scientists and institutions like CERN in society. They are not just stewards of knowledge, but also guardians of the ethical responsibilities that come with discovery. Every experiment at the LHC is conducted with careful consideration of its potential impact, guided by rigorous safety protocols and peer-reviewed scrutiny. Yet as science progresses, so must our frameworks for addressing the broader implications of these advancements. The LHC also raises profound questions about the nature of human curiosity. Why do we seek to understand the universe at such a fundamental level? Is it purely for the pursuit of knowledge? Or is it an intrinsic part of what makes us human? Our desire to unlock the secrets of existence is both our greatest strength and our most perilous ambition. It drives us to innovate, explore, and push the boundaries of what is possible. But it also exposes us to risks that are difficult to foresee. As the LHC continues its groundbreaking work, the scientific community and the world at large must remain vigilant. The discoveries it yields could revolutionize our understanding of the universe, leading to technologies and insights that transform society. At the same time, they remind us of the fragility of existence and the importance of approaching the unknown with humility and caution. Ultimately, the Large Hadron Collider is more than a scientific instrument. It is a symbol of humanity's relentless pursuit of truth. It represents the best of what we are capable of achieving when we unite in curiosity and innovation. Yet it also serves as a reminder of the delicate balance between exploration and responsibility. As we continue to peer into the mysteries of the universe, we must do so with a respect for the power we wield and an awareness of the profound questions it raises about our place in the cosmos. The story of the Large Hadron Collider and the research conducted at CERN is, in many ways, a reflection of humanity's eternal struggle between our boundless curiosity and the unknown risks that come with it. Every step forward in our understanding of the universe invites us to reconsider our place within it and the responsibilities that accompany such knowledge. One of the most captivating and controversial aspects of the LHC is its potential to unlock secrets that fundamentally alter our understanding of reality. What if, through its experiments, we uncover not just particles or dimensions, but entirely new principles that govern existence? Such a revelation could redefine not only physics, but philosophy, theology, and the way we perceive life itself. For example, if the LHC does reveal evidence of extra dimensions, this would confirm theories that have existed in theoretical physics for decades but were previously beyond our ability to test. String theory, which posits that the universe is composed of tiny vibrating strings existing in multiple dimensions, could move from a purely theoretical framework to a proven reality. This would have profound implications for science suggesting that our three-dimensional world is just a slice of a far greater, more complex existence. Similarly, the exploration of dark matter and dark energy, mysterious forces that make up the vast majority of the universe, holds the promise of answering questions about the universe's structure, formation, and ultimate fate. If the LHC helps scientists identify the particles that constitute dark matter, it could revolutionize fields from astrophysics to cosmology, offering new insights into how galaxies form and interact. However, with these potential breakthroughs come questions that stretch beyond science. If we discover evidence of a multiverse, parallel universes existing alongside our own, what does that mean for concepts like fate, free will, and individuality? Do these findings challenge long-held beliefs about creation and the uniqueness of our universe. The idea that we may be one of countless universes could either diminish our sense of significance or inspire a deeper appreciation for the vastness of reality. Yet, as we stand on the brink of such transformative discoveries, there are practical and moral questions that demand our attention. Is it right to pursue knowledge at any cost? Should there be limits to the risks we take in the name of science? These are not just hypothetical concerns. 
They reflect a growing unease about the balance between progress and precaution. While the risks associated with the LHC may be minuscule according to current models, the consequences of even the slightest miscalculation could be catastrophic. One of the most poignant lessons from history is that scientific progress often outpaces our ability to fully understand or control its consequences. The development of nuclear power, for example, brought both tremendous benefits and devastating potential for destruction. As we unlock the secrets of the universe, are we prepared for the responsibilities that come with such power? What systems of oversight and accountability must we create to ensure that discoveries made at facilities like CERN are used for the betterment of humanity? The LHC also reminds us that scientific progress is not achieved in isolation. It is the result of global collaboration bringing together researchers, engineers, and thinkers from around the world. This unity in pursuit of knowledge is one of the LHC's most inspiring legacies. It shows that when humanity works together, we can achieve extraordinary things, transcending borders and differences to explore the fundamental questions of existence. As the LHC continues its work, it is important for the public to remain engaged with its discoveries and debates. Science thrives on transparency and dialogue, and the more people understand about the LHC and its mission, the better equipped we are as a society to navigate the challenges and opportunities it presents. From discussions about the ethics of high-energy physics to the potential applications of its findings, the LHC's journey is one that belongs to all of humanity. In the end, the Large Hadron Collider is a mirror reflecting both the best and the most challenging aspects of human nature. It is a testament to our ingenuity, our curiosity, and our drive to understand the cosmos. At the same time, it is a reminder of the immense responsibility that comes with wielding such power and the need for humility as we venture into the unknown. As we look to the future, the LHC story is not just about particles or collisions. It is about the enduring human spirit, the quest for truth, and the hope that our discoveries will illuminate the path forward for generations to come.